I'm Figaro, the greatest barber in the world. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Some looks, oh. lightning quick hands, and a quick wit. There's nothing in the world I can't do. <laughs> Miss? It's a beautiful day, and the people in the street are happy. But alas, I must sit here at home as my youth withers away. Oh. I hope these flowers can cheer you up. Oh, I'd rather be wildflowers in a meadow than in a vase. Someday, I will escape this place and live freely. <laughs> I doubt that the master will allow it. <sighs> Why is the weather so beautiful? You think she saw us? I can't quite tell if she did. But that man is definitely looking at us. Oh, what an ugly man. Who is he? I think he's the piano teacher. Oh, how can I win Rosina's love? Maybe I should serenade her. Are you all ready? Mm -hmm. <sighs> then shall we begin? Mm -hmm. Stop playing. <sighs> Let's go home now. Good work. Let's go.
Figaro, you startled me. What brings you here? Hmm. I've lived in this town for several years, and now I've become indispensable to the townspeople. Anyway, you look pale, Count. Uh, don't call me <coughs> Count. <coughs> Why not? Uh, uh, if you must know, I've found true love. But I don't want her to love me for my money. Hmm. So, how have things progressed with her? <sighs> if she lives in this house, she won't come out often. <laughs> Fear not. You have me to help you out. Huh? Do you have a good idea? <laughs> I've been helping that household out. As their barber? Yes, and as pharmacist, gardener, and masseuse. I'm indispensable! <laughs> Will you please help me, Figaro? For a price? Uh, uh, oh. <sighs> All right. Her name is Rosina. Her parents are gone. Instead, she has a guardian. Uh -huh. She is trapped in a gilded birdcage. And she dreams of freedom. But alas, Dr. Bartolo will never relinquish her inheritance. Not to anyone. There's no telling what he'll do to Rosina to satisfy his greed. <laughs> I'll rescue her at any cost. Mm. But how? She's not even allowed outside unescorted. The old man doesn't even like her associating with me. Uh, is there no way I can meet her? Don't worry. I'll help you meet her. <clears throat> Shh. It's Dr. Bartolo. Uh, the Guardian? Yes. He's gone. Now that he's gone, I'll go meet Rosina. <sighs> Here. What? Uh, you want me to play this guitar? Of course. Now play. Into the lion's den I go. <clears throat> uh... <laughs> 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 Who is it? It is I, Figaro! <laughs> Berta, you look especially beautiful today. Nonsense. What brings you here? I bring news of the world to Rosina, as always. There's so much going on in town. Why don't you come up and join us? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? What's going on? Come on inside. Hmm. Hello, Miss Rosina. I can tell that you've been waiting for me. <sighs> As always, lovers whisper sweet nothings to each other. By the way, Madame Cinderella eloped with the town cobbler. <sighs> the world is full of romance. One young man I know is madly in love. Ah, oh, poor Lindoro. He has serenaded until his voice became hoarse. And he's practiced day and night. But his dear Rosina won't even bother to look down at him from her balcony. Uh, what? He, he's been serenading me? That's right. He's right outside your window. He uh, fell in love the first time he set eyes on you. Oh, cruel Figaro. Do not play with my heart. I'm not playing. Lindoro is truly in love with you and can't think of anything else. The handsome lad can neither eat nor sleep. What will you do? Will you let him wither away? I don't believe you. Miss, here is the proof that I speak the truth. It's a letter from Lindoro. <sighs> I've loved you since the moment I set eyes on you. Since then, you have always been the master of my heart. I need to see you, Rosina. If you will only allow it, he'll rush to your side. I admit, I am curious about him. But... How can I know that his intentions are pure? I will vouch for him myself. He may be poor, but he's diligent and studious. 
<laughs> Plus, he's handsome. Women swoon over him, but he only oh. has eyes for you. If you say he's a good man, I trust you. I guess huh? I could meet him. Tell him to drop by when Dr. Bartolo is out on a house call tomorrow. So you'll meet him? You're a true lifesaver, Miss Rosina. I guess I should write an answer to his letter now. I hope you won't think that I'm being too forward. Don't worry. Bye-bye. Wonderful. You, you startled me. Well, I didn't know you were here. You must have been so caught up in something that you didn't hear me. What oh. could have engrossed you so? What could be so wonderful? Do enlighten me. Well, it, huh? it's this wonderful quill. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful, Berta? Hmm. There's no doubt the musicians were paid handsomely by the Count. Hmm. I'm her guardian. I have to protect Rosina. Hmm. You must sow the seeds of doubt so she doesn't trust him. <sighs> I know. I'll give her a good scolding. No, no. That won't work. You'll merely earn her ire. There is a way you can shake her faith quietly and stealthily, like the snow falling in the dead of the night. Rumors have a way of growing as they pass from lip to lip. Start a rumor that he's a philanderer. Mm. But I'm a gentleman. I would never stoop that low. Mm. Rumors are the spice of life. They make life in this wretched little town tolerable. The Count will be so disgraced that he will leave town in a week. But I could never stoop that low. Moreover, that plan takes too long. The Count could approach Rosina by then. <sighs> well, you'll have to do your best to stop him. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! I'll have to marry her. That's the only way. What? You'll marry Rosina? Wow! That's brilliant. She'll never be able to get away from you. You know how I admire you, don't you? It's a pity that you cannot focus on your music for lack of money. I'll help you out. Some money. Pretty brushes, brooches, and knickknacks. I'll even give you free samples. Please open the door. Uh, I'm not buying any. Uh, you're very pretty. Take a look for yourself. Uh, you don't have to buy any. <sighs> Let's see. Which one should I buy? Hmm. How about this? Maybe this is too flashy for me. 
Oh, <laughs> uh, you have quite an eye. That's our most popular brooch these days. Anyway, isn't there a young lady here? She would love to see my items. Mm -mm. Uh, try looking at the other ones. This one's popular with the Which younger ladies. We keep selling them out whenever we make them. I don't know much about brooches. Mm -mm. Uh, well, this one is a free sample. Uh, isn't the it The maid pretty? next door keeps on bragging about her tiny little brooch. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at the other ones. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a couple for free. <laughs> uh, aren't there any young ladies here? No, thank uh, you. Thank uh, you for uh, dropping uh, by. Why did you get up? Uh, I have tons to do. Peel the potatoes, wash the clothes, I have to prepare for the wedding. Uh, it's just around the corner. Huh? We wedding Yes, the master of the house is marrying a young lady. W when? <sighs> How should I know? Even the lady doesn't know, for heaven's sake. <sighs> Uh, perhaps I should give her a present of consolation. Go upstairs. She's there. And give her something nice. She'll be devastated. Uh, okay. <sighs> Maybe I'll try on a brooch. Here. Mm, oh my. I've never seen anything like it. Oh my! Who are you? Uh, Oh, I, I'm, uh... Oh, you must be a peddler. Huh. It's nice to meet you, ma'am. Uh, ma'am? Mm. Uh, how much is this brooch? Uh, uh, Rosina, mm. it is I, Lindoro. Uh, Lindoro? You must have a message from him. What did he say? Uh, it is I, Lindoro. What? Oh. Are you disappointed in how I look? Uh, I'm just a little startled. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, right. Uh, your guardian says that he'll marry you. What? He told your maid to prepare for a wedding. How dare he? He didn't even ask me for my hand. What's certain is that that man wants to marry you. Marry you! Uh, uh. Dr. Barcello always hovers around me and suffocates me. He looks at me with his evil gaze, as if he's ready to eat me up. He won't let me meet anyone, and he won't even let me go outside. It's so frustrating. Sometimes I daydream that Dr. Bartolo has changed into a serpent and swallows me. At that moment, I stick my parasol deep into his mouth and open it in order to make my escape. Then I spin the serpent over my head and throw him with all my might so he won't come near me again. <laughs> Such daydreams put me in a good mood. <laughs> Miss, come downstairs. Basilio is here. Uh, Lindara. Rosina, I shall return again. Which one would be nice? I heard I'm to marry Dr. Bartolo. What is that about? Oh, you knew, miss? I guess there are no secrets. <sighs> Isn't it preposterous? Uh, well, I... Ah, uh, there you go, miss. Oh, my! The stew must be burning! Uh, I'm never going to marry him. Never. You can't enter through the balcony. Even a count like you could go to prison oh. for that. But there's no time to lose. Mm. He could marry her today. So convince Rosina to run away with you tonight. In the meantime, I'll keep Dr. Bartolo busy. Really? Use the balcony at night. Are you satisfied? 
Not quite, Figaro. What's wrong? Must I wear the dress again today? Huh? Certainly. Uh, uh, but will Rosina consent to elope with a man in a dress? <laughs> uh, but you can't go there dressed as a prince now, can you? That's the only disguise we have, so you'll have to use it. <laughs> you look beautiful today, dear. Did something nice happen? Of course not. Not when I'm locked up in here. Hmm. But the world is a scary place. <sighs> I'm just trying to keep you safe, my dear. There you go. Now come inside in 15 minutes. I've been thinking, dear. You're at an age when you should marry. Will you marry me, Rosa? <sighs> Uh? Figaro the Barber is here! Uh? Uh? What the heck? My appointment is tomorrow! No, no. I can't tomorrow because of the Duke's party. I'm very busy, you know. Not right now. Go away, I'm busy. Okay, then I'll have to cut your hair next week. He's no spring chicken. Why would he need to look good? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, wait a minute! Uh, uh, Come to think of it, I have a very important event today. Uh, please stay. Oh, really? What is it? Is it a funeral or a wedding? Uh, 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 get ready for my haircut! <sighs> Lindora will be here in a moment, so get ready. Who is that? Oh, no. Uh, now, time for the haircut. Uh, come on in. Hello, I brought the items the lady ordered. What? What does she order? Hold still or you could get hurt. Come up to my hey, room. Okay. Hey, where are you going? First, I'll give you a shave. Rosita, oh, oh, stay where I can see you. Now, now. Hmm. You look ten years young. Give me the latest hair. Of course I will. I won't let you marry that evil old man. Let's elope together, my love. Where to? I've never left this house in my life. To my hometown. Everyone there will greet you. I'll come fetch you tonight. <sighs> <laughs> Something's amiss. Uh, uh, I'll have to take but a you're walk. you're not done yet. Wait. Uh, 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 let's walk this way. Okay, let's do that. Oh, what a beautiful place this is. Uh, now let's walk over here. Uh, Lindora. Yes, love. Will you marry me, Rosina? I will marry you. off any longer. My dear Basilio, please bring a priest and stand witness at my wedding. He'll rush over here when he gets this letter. I'm going to leave this house. Berta! Berta! Coming! Hurry up, woman! 
Here, give this to Basilio at once. Uh, run uh, as fast as you uh, can. Now. Uh, what? You want me to run? And after you return, you must cook for the wedding banquet. Hurry up! Yes, sir. Ugh, why all the commotion? Huh? What's this? What do you think you're doing, Rosina? Uh, are you trying to run away? What did you do with that charlatan? What has that villain done to you? He's no villain. Lindoro's merely a poor student that I love. Uh, Lindoro? Lindoro, you say? Are you sure you know who he really is? He's a poor but diligent student. He's kind and gentlemanly, and I am in love with him. That is why I have decided to leave this place with the man I love. <sighs> what? I'm going to leave with the man I love. Understand? <laughs> <laughs> Foolish girl, you've been completely had. Lindoro is none other than Count Almaviva, the notorious philanderer. If he truly loves you, why would he have hidden his identity? You were bamboozled by that playboy. That can't be. Think about it. The Count will take advantage of you and discard you when he's done. This isn't even his first time. You're lying to me. Will you say that even after he's abandoned you? It can't be. Poor foolish girl, you've been had. This is why I worry about you. Didn't I warn you about giving away your affections to just anyone? That man has broken countless hearts. <clears throat> but not to worry. You have me to protect you. I will stay with you and protect you always. Uh, we were going to uh, run away tonight. Uh, uh, what? Run away with him? Why, that little... I... <sighs> Ouch! How could you betray me after all I've done for you? Bartolo. Be careful. Hide. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> yeah. oh, we're almost there. Let's go. <laughs> huh? Well, I thought I just saw something. <laughs> That's strange. Rosina, Rosina!
someone's passing by. Hurry! Open the window, Rosina! Who is it? I it is I, Lindoro. You mean Lindoro, the poor student? Not Alma Viva, the philandering count? What? Oh. <laughs> Rosina, I don't know what you've heard, but please listen to my story. What is your true identity? Uh, my name is Alma Viva. Oh. <gasps> but my love for you is true. Ouch! If you love me, then why did you deceive me? I gave you my heart and my trust. Uh, don't be offended when I say I tested you, but I merely wanted to confirm your love. Until now, I've been harangued by countless women who chased after me. They merely liked me for my money and high position. But they did not understand me. I wanted to meet a woman who loved me for who I am, not what I am. And I have finally found that woman. That woman is you, Rosina. Rosina, will you marry me? Oh, no. The priest and Basilio are coming. A, a oh. priest in the middle of the night? Oh, I think Dr. Bartello went to fetch the police. What will we do? Any good ideas, Figaro? <sighs> Bartolo will be coming with the police, so we can't go through the balcony. Well, then what will we do? The priest and Basilio are here. We can't escape through oh. here either. What? This is awful. There seems to be no way to escape. What will we do? <sighs> are we doomed? The police are on their way here. Soon you and I will be handcuffed, Count. He's a charlatan. He's stolen to my house disguised as a woman. <sighs> Aha! I know! We have the bride, mm -hmm. groom, priest, and witness, so we can hold the wedding, don't you think? <laughs> Come downstairs when I give you this signal, okay? <laughs> don't forget! Oh? oh? <sighs> Hi! I see you're here! The mm -hmm. good father is here. Basilio, are you the witness? Um. Wow! Well, that's a stunning hairdo. And your playing is brilliant. How dare you try to take Rosina from me? Where's the master of the house? <laughs> now all we need is the groom. A wedding at night. Isn't it romantic? Oh. Stop being facetious, man. You and I both know that this is hardly romantic. It is a truly ungainly match between a beauty and a beast. As a connoisseur of beauty, I find this match to be utterly tasteless. Not to worry. Such a tasteless match will never be. Uh, uh, will you please let go of me, Count? <laughs> this is the gift I have for the witness of my wedding. Yes? I think they make a magnificent couple. Now, shall we prepare for the wedding? Over there. Move it over there. Can, can you give me a hand? Oh, my. Oh. Now, don't you worry, Miss Ruth. Good in here. Thank you very much. Uh. Stop. What are you waiting for, you hag? Open up! Now shall we begin? I must be going deaf. I can't hear a single thing. <laughs> Why won't you open the door? Alma Viva, will you love and honor... Break the door down! Open the door, 
Yes. I now pronounce uh, Eric 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 and Rosina as man and wife. What are you doing with that man? You're supposed to be my bride. Get away from her. Let go of her hand. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? She's my wife. Your wife? No! This wedding is void! Can't you hear me? It's void! My void! No, here's some of my special turkey. No, stop this nonsense! This wedding is void! Okay, I'll try some. Hey, right, let's have a toast to wish the happy couple a long and happy life. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 